Okay, this tutorial is um, really what I'm going to say here is I'm just going to make it really super quick as fa fast as possible for those people that just don't have the 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 uh, just don't have the attention span to deal with uh, looking at a video that's going to be 30 minutes long and describing what to do. This is what you do in order to get uh, objects into into uh, all space. You take your uh, you take your thing, you save it out. Um, well, you, t you use a newer version of Blender, or you use whatever is your your platform, whatever you're using. You save out an FBX file. You go to export, save to FBX file. Then um, you have to get a version of of uh, Unity, and the best version to use is. 2018.9.1.9 f2 if you don't use that version you will not be able to use the uploader that uh, unity hat that outspace has to get the uploader you go to um, you get inside your web browser and you um, you go to google and you type in google you type site colon all altvr.com space unity and then you hit return and you pick the second thing off the list which is how do i get started with the unity uploader and uh you go through all these directions and stuff and the main things to hold on to is you need to get the newest version uh this version of unity not the newest version and uh you need to get the unity uploader you click on this it'll download it um, whenever it's fully downloaded, you click on that whenever Unity is open, and it will bring the uploader into Unity. Um, once it's into Unity, and uh, you have to log in to the uploader, and uh, it will by default it'll be on template. You have to log in to it using your login password from uh, Alt Space VR. And then you switch to, uh, in my case, we switch to kit. And then uh, um, what you do is you go to your Unity and you uh, go import asset. You say import asset. Then you look for your FBX file. You load that in. And uh, so let me go ahead and load that in just to show you. Import asset. Then you can say Alt Space VR Rules. Hit Import, and uh, then you find your asset in the full in this uh, console window that's uh, going to appear down here, and it and it's right here. And I just drag and drop that there, and it was a little screwed up. I found out that it had the the normals for the surfaces were pointed inwards you want to make sure your surf your normals are pointed outwards otherwise your object will appear kind of funky like this and then you um, go to the uploader and uh, you make sure that the kit folder name is going to be the name as your kit on the website so uh, pick a name here put it there pick your asset name what the, the object's going to be named that's going to be inside the kit We'll go into hit kit asset name you select it here you go over here you hit convert game objects to kit prefab and then you go to the main site you can go that from saying create new kit it'll bring in the web browser you pop into there you uh, name your kit you put a description then you say create kit it'll create the kit and then so uh, nothing's uploaded to the website yet. The, we've created a space for it on the website. We've created. We're going to create the 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 kit. Um, we have to say load kit prefab directories, and then it will load in. Um, there our kit that we've got, and you hit build. And when it's done building, it'll produce a zip file, and you then take the the um, zip file and you go into your kit whenever your kit's produced let me see if I can go up to one of my kits and 
under more kits and uh, I got one in here called alt space VR rules click on that then I go into edit and then I go down to zip file click on choose I choose the zip file that it generated then I hit update kit whenever it's done it will um, have the the thing included as an artifact and it'll look just like it did and that and then you um, go into alt space VR and you can load it right directly into your um, into your world as you see there um, it will show up under in your world editor under mine and it, and you look for kit so there's all space here's mine kits and then you go into all space VR and then it will be sitting inside of there the object that was created and then you just load it into your world and you go ahead and orient it like you would any other object and you can see I've already loaded into this world I've already loaded other objects um, like I've got the uh, what's called the Suzanne monkey head from blender there's one there's another one way over here that I lo uh, loaded into this world and uh, whoa uh, let's make sure that my in my world editor I've got it set to edit mode so it'll throw me and fly automatically and uh, so there there's another one with uh, some colored polygons I, I haven't figured out how to bring in uh, image textures, uh, UV texture, the uh, surface of the objects, but you can bring in solid objects. There's uh, the toys over there came from one of my uh, tutorials I tried to do. And so there you go. And um, that's, that's that. That's how you bring stuff into alt space. And I hope that was short enough of a tutorial. There you go.